Hello friends, in this lesson we shall learn the concept of acceleration. This is an animation of a wooden box falling to ground and this animation is captured in a slow motion so that you can see. If you would have dropped this wooden box from the fifth floor, it will gain more and more velocity as it keeps falling until it hits the ground at the highest velocity and it may break as soon as it hits the ground. But if you drop it from a two-story building, it would not gain that high velocity compared to the first case. So it may not break completely. Why objects when left high above the ground comes down automatically? The answer is simple, gravity. But exactly how fast an object fall? Why object falling from higher place hits the ground with more velocity? This is something you already know. When someone presses the accelerator of a car, the car accelerates, means its velocity increases over time. If you kick a football, it also accelerates. So velocity increases, that is an object goes faster when some force is applied. We all know that. So acceleration is the measurement of the change in the velocity of an object per unit time. In case of falling object, gravitational force pulls the object down and the velocity increases by 9.8 meter every second. So acceleration is 9.8 meter per second square. When the box is falling from a higher place, say 5 story building, it gets more time to accelerate. Hence it gains more velocity when it hits the ground. So what will be the velocity of the falling box? Say its velocity increases by a every second. That is acceleration is a. So at 0th second velocity is equal to 0 because object was at rest. It was in my hand. At first second its velocity is a because velocity is increasing by a every second. After 2 seconds, its velocity increases to 2a. At 3rd second, its velocity increases to 3a. This way, after t seconds, its velocity increases to 80. So the box falling from higher place gets more time to accelerate, hence gains more velocity. Let's take another example. Say, the initial velocity of a car which was already in motion was u. This car is now on a highway. The driver presses the accelerator of the car and the car accelerates uniformly. This means velocity increases at a uniform rate. That is in every second the velocity is increasing at the same rate. If the acceleration is a then after t seconds its velocity will increase by 80. So final velocity v would be equal to initial velocity u plus increment in velocity that is 80. So V is equal to U plus 80. We can use this formula to calculate the final velocity of an accelerating object. Like in case of falling object example, initial velocity was 0 because the box was in my hand. The gravity started pulling it down after I left it. The acceleration is 9.8 meter per second square. This is denoted by G, that is acceleration of gravity. It took 4 seconds to fall and reach to the ground. So final speed V when it hits the ground will be equal to U plus 80. That is V is equal to initial speed 0 plus acceleration of 9.8 meter per second square multiplied by time taken which is 4 seconds. So this comes out to be close to 39.2 meter per second. That is the speed with which it hits the ground. So we saw V is equal to U plus 80 or acceleration A is equal to V minus U divided by T. That is acceleration A is equal to change in the velocity divided by time. And its unit is meter per second square. Change of velocity is me meter per second divided by time which is also second so meter per second square. So acceleration A is equal to change in velocity V minus U. 
divided by time t. If v is greater than u, then a comes out to be positive, that is object is accelerating, that is it's increasing its speed with the passage of time. And if v is less than u, then a comes out to be negative, that is object is deaccelerating, that is it's decreasing its speed with the passage of time. We will take more examples in the next lesson. Bye-bye.